welcome to Celebrity Chat on Parasite TV Africa. Today we have a music maestro in the house. I like the words to qualify him. He's an artist to the core. A singer, a dancer, a comedian, a rapper, an instrumentalist, a producer. Ah, oh boy, I say only you want I just carry the whole thing. I don't know what they are calling you, but they are calling the Zeke of Africa. You are welcome to the program. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shall we know you? Where is we going? <laughs> yeah, my name is Isaac Imafi, but I'm popularly known as Zek, Z I K. That's my stage name. Uh, I'm a music producer, a songwriter, and they are both uh -huh. that our boss are uh, both. Uh, uh, well. uh, well, 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 well. <laughs> I was in the bridge, whatever I'm with, I was with you, I'm with you, I'm with Yes, so, eh, eh, that's so now, eh, 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 and I heard that, I was like, no, I heard that, I heard that, no, I heard that, 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 my chairman, I heard that, you, I heard that, how's the music team now, what did they have on? Many things, they do, many things, they have on, as you can see, um, the state is moving forward, you know, you know, so many things are from the stable of deep end entertainment mm -hmm. we are uh, uh, deep end is trying to make sure that the entertainment in the blue state south south you yeah. know eventually becomes what it used to be you know so you know we know Edo state for its real culture yeah. art and everything so the the industry we are trying we are trying to mend up gradually yeah. at well, least at all at all start mara moscow papa yes <laughs> Okay, um, we'll talk about you, Zeke. Yeah. You know, let me just start with you. The way you talk, you have this deep baritone voice. But yeah. when you release your voice, eh, it's like, fire. Yeah. Then, well, how, 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 how you are you doing? It? You know, say, music now, not that spiritual part of my life. Okay. Yeah. It's just like, most times, when you don't deal inside that studio, there's some other thing entirely when you feel. The chemistry of studio, mm. not be the chemistry of uh, when you day outside, you day side follow, you day. So there's different thing. You are drive by sound, yeah. sound who don't come, and that thing don't come over you. You be like when you the worship. Most times you begin to talk so many when the Holy Spirit don't take a uh hand, -huh. but that one will not be Holy Spirit to a hand. It get another thing will come you, you know. So you have to take it like that, and you know music. We get keys. Yeah. Depends on the key we your producer take give you. So you have to transpose or transform yourself into that realm to make sure so you deliver. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see most times we don't look like what we are in our songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. So the truth of the matter is you have a very, very unique, very, very unique voice. Um yes. listening to you, man, one begin to wonder where the inspiration for the call. They call. I call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did this kind of country, you say inspiration, not call. If you know call again, yeah, you want for come. <laughs> if they call, ah. if they come. Many things will make her come. Okay. And, and God, that be number one. It's, it, and they inspire me every day. So yeah. when I see the creature, the way God take create this life, when I see the natural, the human beings, the animal, the man meetings and everything, and the sense we can give us. You know, every day I feel inspired by that as it take create this world, you know. So your talent is something that's seriously I'm not trying to I'm not trying to blow your trumpet, I'm not yeah. trying to you have contributed a lot to so many, many artists in this yeah. country yeah. and beyond this country. Yeah. And one one striking difference is that the more you do this, the more you are coming up with something even better than yeah. what you did before. So it begins to drive one's, you know, a, a, a question. How is this man doing this thing? I must actually commend your effort. Uh, the issue now is um, you have a new single or a new yeah, computer book? I, yeah, I have a new work, new singles okay. that is currently going on promotions right now. Okay. Uh, I release a, like a love, one love song. That we all should love ourselves because you know we are battling this pandemic COVID 19. Yeah. So we all need to show love to one another. There's no uh, the uh, public gathering. Most people are not going to work. Most people are not uh, getting paid. Some are staying at home. So it's just an avenue for everybody, no matter the race, no matter mm. how you look like. 
Racism yeah. not did this one. Yeah. Help who you go feel help. So if you get, give the needy. And if we do so, you see, say people say go even stay house. Yeah. And because say, they don't get what they want it. So I just look at the situation of the country now. I think that some because I know say love then go really hit this yeah. world. Yeah. When we love our neighbor as ourselves, we will see say things go to move on. So that one day, then I can still sing another one. This life now race. Not be who first start the race. If it's good for you, now it's grace. So that one currently there. There are so many other ones. I I sing one back Belen with uh I get a uh, our brother who oh, tell a tell it for the music industry, Mr. Klinsman yeah. and uh, Azar. So jobs they currently on promo. So all these jobs now once you go on social media you go see them. Yeah, that one will raise my question because again, one way I see for social media, I think now the one love thing. The one love, yeah. The 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 response we put in this one was massive. massive. You understand? Yeah. It did massive. Yeah. Ah, I see, man. <laughs> we are looking at the is it the Grammy now or the Oscars? No, the Grammy. <laughs> you know, the thing is fantastic. Seriously, yeah. the message is um, it it, it sunk in. It yeah. sunk in, and people really accepted it. So if I will ask you this question, what genre of music, what particular brand of music you say you play? Because why ask this question? Yeah. If you go reggae, you did it. If you go hip hop, <laughs> if you go afro, you did it. So I just want to know because sometimes you can't, you can't just say zig all around that and very very good, you know. You know one thing I I I, I feel say. We feel generalize all these things to, you know, so we get hip, hip life. Yes. We get Afro music. Mm-hmm. We get Afro pop. Yeah. You know, most time, most of all these gen, most of all this type of music, it the African man body. Mm-hmm. The only thing we know the African man body in our rock music. So whether reggae, pop, all these one are, you know, we think already they are our body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I grew up in the center of year music uh, day. So my papa self na all this chorister for church. You okay. know? So different type of they not go once this one I don't come. We did we did they follow and so those things don't I don't use a build up. So anyone will come my way, I go deliver. So it's already day in build. So I know if it does say I day here or I day here, but you know as right. Nigeria yeah, musician. musician. Mm-hmm. So you have to follow everything, and it already the body. This one not be waiting person just the fake, yeah, you yeah. know. So within the body, so that's why anyone comes my way, I deliver. How the message they come, I give it to the people. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, apart from you know, you just mentioned your father, you know, as the source of uh, uh, a mentor. Yeah. You, you saw him growing up and yeah. managed to choir, sing songs. Apart from your father, which other musicians? No, don't do some wonderful work for you. Mm, plenty musicians, they plenty musicians, they we don't do many fantastic job. Uh, we I get and uh, those days I used to follow Bob Nestor Mali, Bob Mali, like our own Nigerian legend, fella Nicola Pokuti, uh, Lucky Dubit, still so, um. Um, all the Mabigay those days and a lot of artists. But these present days, I still love this. Our young, young, that like two face them. So yeah. those people, they stay inspired a lot. Um, That's good. Yeah. Play any instrument? Yeah, I, I play. I started with um, um, conga. I started with conga. Uh, I started with uh, a lot of this gong because we used to dance a book in those days. So then when I start professional music, I play keyboard. Yeah. Um, well, viewers, we're on to Celebrity Chat on Fansai TV Africa. And our guest has been Zik Imafi, popularly known as Z-I-K. Stay tuned. Oh na na, another one from deep end. Oh oh, this life na race, but not be by who first start the race. 
If he good for you now, his grace. Oh na, thank God for his sibo. Where has I my call? All glory to God. Where no make me fall? Your prosperity, he dey make another man the vessel. You not do anything, then go carry your matter for her though. Even if you buy bicycle, you don't get any meal. Play music, make a feel like Make a concentrate, come on matter for my brain. Make a celebrate, I go feel like if you get it too much money, they go send a ritual. But oh, you don't get, no get, they go send a spiritual. Welcome back to the program. Now, uh, ZRK, Russell, I want to take you back to that question again. Okay. Apart from your father, who is your mentor? You see, you know, you made mention of your father as you yeah. know, you, you understand, yeah. you saw him growing up and you got a lot of inspiration for him. But apart from that, who is your, your, your one particular mentor in the industry? I, start, uh, I started singing conscious music um, when I, I started mentoring. Legend Bob Nestor Mali and also Lucky Dube inspired me a lot. Um, Fela, our old Fela Nicola Poverty, then um, a little bit of those English songs, Marvin Gaye and Phil Collins and the rest. Then this uh, young uh, Nigerian artist, uh, like Two Face Two Baba, because we Eventually, almost the same time, he yeah. started uh, emerging. Yeah. So, because he seemed more of the elite conscious music. You know? So, those are basically the people that inspire me. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Yes, this other side of you, we call me this side. <laughs> when are you going to be this side to you know what to see? <laughs> I know, I, I'm trying to that because I'm close, I know you, I've seen you do some stuff. Yeah. So when is the world going to see this other side of you, sir? Yeah, comedy has been there is like a natural thing in me, you know. I started comedy when I was in primary school. They used to call me Okoro Bebe. Hey, yes, 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 yes. Very soon. <laughs> On Fansa TV Africa, we are going to be seeing the seat titled Okoro <laughs> Bia Bia. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> so after primary school, um, I my secondary school days, they they know me as Ahun Dada or Robocop. Hmm. Yeah, that's what they call me uh, in school because I used to do like this robot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just be talking like robot. Like one person will come to me and say, Master, Master, they tried to kill me. I say, why then I'll cook you? Because now you they find trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so that is good, that is good, so, that is good. Who do it and people eventually drop some money and anywhere I go at that new bini, I went to a Dopolo primary school uh, secondary school. Those days of the Lusa Baseki and yeah. the rest, so they were in the same zone. So they all call me Ahundada, Ahundada, <laughs> you know. So people that know me, they know me as Ahundada or a do for Cup. So I used to do comic when I was still. I want you to promise your viewers. I'm going to do it only on that, on that night, sir. Yeah, thank God I have, uh, I come to a no fan site TV as a large coverage and uh, a platform to promote talent. So. By having this in South South, I, I will promise you that I will start doing that. So, you yes, are expecting more from Jake. <laughs> uh, you have so many critiques, so many young guys who are interested in what you do. Yeah. What is your advice to them to become 
like you. They may not be you, yeah. but at least to grow up. Yeah, my my advice is whatsoever you know you want to do like in entertainment, you have to be determined. Um focus is everything. Once you have that focus and you are determined, hard working because nobody gets it. Uh, the only there are few people that, that can get it with flutes, or maybe you can call it grace. But hard work always pays when it comes to you know always keep on the hard work, do what you know how to do best, and don't forget God is the giver of your talent and everything. Remember Him first, seek Him first, and always be focused. Yeah. I also know that uh, you are a very good songwriter, and you have written. So many songs for young musicians. Very, very rare for musicians to write for others because yeah. that song could become the hit. The hit. Yeah. Why do you do that? One thing is that eventually there are there are some messages. Music are like messages. There are some messages that you are you are not the one. You you are not the one who's going. Even if the message comes from you. You are not supposed to be the one to deliver it. There are most people that could deliver that message. Whether you say, oh, you want to give it out or not, there are people who would deliver it better that can take that part of that song to another level. Imagine like uh, our uh, late king of pop, um, uh, Michael Jans, people write songs for him. Uh, even Two-Face and everybody, in, uh, most part of, uh, most... Uh, celebrities in Nigeria. So most times you don't you don't have to do everything by yourself. So you have to know that oh this guy can jump in in, in a tumba beat. So I have this concept of this okay why not give it to this guy to yeah. to make sure that it comes better and bigger. So by the time you sing everything that comes from you there are some songs that I can sing even if I do all general type of songs I can there are some songs I can I cannot do an Igbo rap more than Fino. Even if I have the concept, mm -hmm. I have to find somebody who could do it better. Mm -hmm. So those are the things. Once you give out those songs, you write those songs for artists, you still have the uh, glory. Mm -hmm. Generally. Yeah. There's a particular dance step that you do. <laughs> can you do the dance for us? Or maybe the space is too small for us. Yeah, if I start <laughs> that dance here, maybe I'll talk this thing while we come the so. No, the dance is unique in its own yeah. way. You know, I would wish that you just do an instrumental one, the only instrumental, then just do all the dance so that we just put it on on any of the platform for the world to see yeah. how creative yeah. that you are. You know, totally not that you are just a genius. I want to ask, what kind of measure? Are you doing that to promote your own songs? Okay. Um, currently, I'm working with some promotional teams that uh, I know with their outreach, with their power, and being close to Fanside TV now that I know they, they have a better outreach. Uh, I, I feel that from now to December, the world will get to know the brand. Yeah. So we are working on that brand. We are currently working now, and with the help of different entertainment, everything I know will make will make some hits. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Recently, you organized a street program, kind of talent hunt yeah. program, and you drew in a lot of talents. You know, yeah. what happened to the program? Okay, um, recent, you, recently we, we did, it was the first edition, we went to the streets, so I met the CEO of uh, Deep End Entertainment, Deep End Record, so I told him of the initiative, he endorsed it and said, yeah, that is what he actually wants to do for a daylight, to make sure that the youth, they are busy, they are doing something, so we eventually went to the streets, we went to like uh, four major markets because our target is marketplace because there are some young gurus inside that market. They, they have the talent, but 
they don't have the platform so it's because of lack of platform most of them you find them doing pocket vicar selling doing a proco at the roadside and all those so we have to go into the market and by the special grace of god we went to new Benin market and we picked five for the grand finale we went to agro park Uselu uh, market then ring road to search for these folks then after we did the grand finale at uh, deep end so we we'll continue that uh, gets the three best and those three we are currently working on them currently depend has picked one of them inside and we are doing something great so that's one man. yeah okay um we've said a lot and you know usually time is on our side with a program like this yeah and uh, you are one artist that we want to have over and over again because because of this interview, people are going to be seeing your musical videos, you know, yeah. everything that you did that you made mention of, they're going to see it, <laughs> they're going to see it there because they're going to make sure that you have it. So I want you to, you know, as a last word yeah. to your fans, to those who are wanting to be like you, to just advise them. Yeah, my advice to my fans, uh, people who are aspiring to become musicians, whether acting or anything in entertainment you have i always tell you be focused always be focused hard work pace there is there is no short cut you have to end it listening to advice from the people you know that they are already successful and always put on the things you know that are original from you build yourself Bring your originality. Don't let anybody tell you, say, you know, go feed one. Don't let anybody tell you, say, you know, reach the people with the one. And don't let anybody stop you from that thing we want to do. Always be practice on that particular thing. Even if you know they perfect, at least with time, you go they perfect. And don't give up. If you know you get platform, nobody to sponsor you. That money where you want to go drink beer, chop fish, pepper soup. It don't reach you, go give one DJ or one show promoter, say, I beg, see this job, promoter for me, do this one for me. Gradually, with time, God will help you and give you a bigger platform. So now my message is that, and stay away from crime, drugs, and all those uh, raping where they happen everywhere. No go look on other person's property. Uh -huh. Once they come out high for woman, when you they chase fame, no chase woman. Focus on your goals. And my advice be that. And I remain blessed. Thank you, Z. Yeah. One last thing from you. Just two free stuff for us. <clears throat> well, now what do they do every day? Yes, it's with the chopper. Yes, sir. So, um, I wanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the studio with Fansai TV. Now so we they do them every day that they see us for TV. So if you want to become the best musician, it's for you to buckle up, make you know the belief, say you know go feel make em. Cause one day go come, now you that go celebrate to, celebrate to. I'm chilling with Mr. Billy Kings. Now in the interview me and we don't they sing. Ah, I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mansai! <laughs> ah, that was ZIK on Mansai TV Africa. Yes, next week we are going to be hosting another, you know, fantastic celebrity from this part of South South in Nigeria on only on Mansai TV Africa. Until then, stay blessed. Love, yeah. All we need is love, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let it up, yeah. This now they carry happy man is my enemy. Calamity in my society, man losing property. Man offend man every day, no apology. White killing black, police brutality. Religious leaders creating more insanity. No more 
love, more calamity. Calamity, day, day. Every day, not day, yeah. All I preach is one love. One love. Love your neighbor as yourself, no matter the color. Everybody want to race, money chase. Too many people need this fame. World record breaker, man chase. What latest make man they suffer? Things getting worse, things ain't getting proper.